Well, as you may be aware, we have prejudgments of the Constitutional Court, all declaring the same position that the courts martial exist illegally. They do not fit anywhere within the constitutional framework of this country and therefore have no mandate, no jurisdiction to continue trying, whether civilians or even soldiers, in their establishments, which they call courts. They are not courts of law. They are just uh, an ad hoc establishment put in place as a scarecrow against freedoms. Because, you see, if you look at the court marshal, the general court marshal, it has no other business apart from trying politicians or people to express political dissent in this country. So they are just an extension of Museveni's um, rule and the NRM's uh, ruling uh, party, the, the, the ruling party's extension, which is the coercive bit of it. So for that reason, we came to court to have those declarations. We got the declarations. They appealed, which is within their right, to the Supreme Court, and obtained interim measures. Those, those interim measures were meant to stop the transfer of files to the civilian courts, which had been directed by the Constitutional Court. They continued to use them to conduct fresh trials in an establishment, an outfit that is outside the constitutional framework of, of the country. So what we're telling the court is that those people, those people, are civilians and others that continue to appear in these kangaroo establishments have been denied the protection of the constitution. We therefore requested the court to expedite the judgment and clear the air. Of course we, we were cognizant of the challenges that have been faced by the Supreme Court since we had this matter had. We have uh, unfortunately and tragically lost two justices of the, of the bench, uh, the Honorable uh, Justice Ruby Piaweli, the Honorable Stella Raj Amoko, for whose souls we continue to pray to rest in eternal peace. They were distinguished uh, servants of, of the country. We could understand. Secondly, of course, as the his Lordship, the Chief Justice mentioned, there have been relocations uh, from Kololo to uh, somewhere in Nakasero, where he said there were squatters. And of course, we congratulate them on getting a magnificent uh, space for themselves. And uh, of course, I'm, I'm happy to be the first advocate to address the Supreme Court in the new building, uh, definitely. So we look forward to receiving this judgment. We are anxious to have this one out of our way. We very strongly believe that the court will be alive to the provisions of the Constitution, that this outfit called the court martial is not a court within the meaning of the law. It doesn't fit anywhere within the framework of the Constitution. And the Genome 7 continues to use it to silence political dissent. And that is the most unfortunate bit. For those that continue to be holed up in that thing called the court martial, we pray for them because they are in a wrong place. And uh, we hope that sooner than later they will regain their freedom. We shall continue to fight for their freedom using the little, the arsenal that is available at our disposal. And that can only be the law. Anything outside the law, someone will be deceived. Thank you very much.